If you're even thinking about moving to Florida from Michigan, you need to watch this video. Why? What's the problem? In this video, I'm going to give you all the reasons why you shouldn't move to Florida and you should stay put right here in Michigan. And we're starting now. All right, so if you didn't know, Florida is the number one place people from Michigan move to every single year. Over 21,000 people from Michigan move to Florida every single year, and it's my mission to change it. Good luck with that. If you're new here, my name is Paul, and I'm basically Michigan's biggest cheerleader. So if you like videos about Michigan, you should go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And if after everything I do and say, you still want to leave Michigan and move to Florida, I'm also a full-time real estate agent, and I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people buy and sell real estate all over Michigan. So it's a good chance I can help you sell your house for more than your neighbors so you can buy that dream home in Florida. But don't. But if you do, call me. All right, so these are all the reasons you should not move to Florida. These are things that you should know about. I mean, what are you getting yourself into anyways? The more I look at this list here, uh, the more I like the last item on it. So you should probably stick around for that. All right, so first up is the obvious. It's the weather in Florida. Yes, it's hot in Florida. We all know it's hot in Florida. It's way hotter than Michigan. I mean, it's hotter than the sun. But do you really need summer all the time? I mean, doesn't that get old at some point? It's like eating pizza every single day of your life. Oh, I really like pizza, so maybe that's a bad analogy to use. I think I could probably eat pizza every day. But do you really want summer every day? I can think of worse things. On average, there are over 237 sunny days in Florida every single year. The US average is 205. Michigan on average only has 170 sunny days a year. I mean, that's more realistic. That's nice. I bet a lot of people wouldn't even guess that we have 170 sunny days here. I mean, if you're from Michigan, I don't know, what do you think? You feel like it's more or less? But you know what more sun means? It means more sunblock and sunburn. Relax, sunburn is full of vitamin D. Look at me, I might as well be a vampire. Like, shimmering, it's like so pasty and white. So if you're like me, you gotta like find the shade wherever it's at. 237 days of sunshine would not be to my benefit. And aside from all that sun, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of rain in Florida. Everybody knows it rain. everybody jokes around about how much it rains in Florida. And you know what sun and rain equal? Humidity, lots of it. That's gonna wreak havoc on your sweet hairdo. Look at this sweet do I've got going on here. Just be all messed up. Oh no, my hair! Next up on our list, we have the gators. Alligators, they're like miniature dinosaurs and they're terrifying and they're all over the place. Pretty sure they're everywhere in Florida. Everywhere you go, there's just like alligators walking around. Swimming pools, alligators. Ponds, alligators. Sidewalks, alligators. The kitchen. Alligators. There are approximately 1.3 million alligators in the state of Florida. 1.3 million, that's a lot of gators. They even named their college football team after them. You know what we have here in Michigan? You're from here, you know, the Wolverines. How many Wolverines have you seen ever? I bet the answer is zero because there are zero Wolverines in Michigan. Lame. Those are equally terrifying, but luckily we don't have any. So stay safe, stay in Michigan. Next up on our list are the tourists. If you've been to Florida a lot, you've been one of these people. Did you know that Florida is the number two destination for tourists in the United States? Number two. Michigan is 31. 31. And for very good reason. Not even close to the top. So what do you think that all those tourists do for traffic and wait time and going to get a sandwich at your favorite deli? Nothing good. You gotta wait longer for everything. I'm sure of it. And if you're moving to Florida to be closer to a beach, or Disney, or something like that. Guess what? That's what all the tourists are there for too. They're there for the same reason. I hope you like sharing and waiting in lines. In Michigan, people are just here to hunt, fish, boat, ski, walk around in the shade. I guess that's what we do here. Riveting. Totally different crowd. Here we're just relaxing. Florida, everybody's on the go in the sun. That sounds terrible. If you have a story about being a tourist in Florida or dealing with tourists in Florida, let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear about it. I always love hearing stories about Florida, of Floridians. Instead of a Michigander, you can be a Floridian. You like that? Next up on our list are the things to do. Sure, Florida has miles of sandy beach, and Disney, and over 1,200 golf courses. 1,250 golf courses to be exact. I mean, who needs 
all of those golf courses. I do, I do, I do, I do. I don't even play golf, terrible at it. But in Michigan, we've got Detroit, we have Michigan's Adventure. What, what the hell is that? It's a theme park. Endless snow at random times of the year, and more potholes than you can count. Those potholes would be perfect for golf, but we have more than 1,250 potholes. If you're from Michigan, you know how spot on that random snow bit is because just the other day, last week, it was 70 degrees and then it snowed, like lots of snow, not just a little bit. You're not gonna get that in Florida. You gotta be like ready for anything here in Michigan. Keep you on your toes and in your boots. Your village sounds terrible. Man, I am not making Michigan sound too great. I'm not like making myself want to move to Florida. Why do I live here? I'm not sure. Next up on our list are the taxes in each state. Florida does not have state income tax. They don't tax retirement income like social security benefits, and they don't have estate and inheritance taxes. Michigan has a flat income tax rate of 4.25% and we need it, like really bad. Remember all those potholes I was just talking about? We've gotta fix those things. We need your money, please. Without you being here, how are we gonna fix that stuff? So do you still wanna to move to Florida after hearing all of that terrible stuff about the state? Yeah, I think I do. If so, reach out, I'll help you sell your place so you can buy the one that you want. And if you're going to just stay here in Michigan, Check out some of these other videos and playlists around here so you can pick a place to live and I'll see you there.